Parshas Ki Sovay. This is a shear adapted from the Shurim of Moran Hagoin, Horav Avram Shmuel Finkel, Seichat Sadek Lavrocha. To see this shear in written form, please refer to our um, website, yeshivakesatora.org or um, or TorahAnytime.com It says in the Torah V'loinosan Hashem lochem leiv lodas Ve'inayim lirois v'yoznayim l'shmoya Ad hayoyim hazeh Hashem did not give you a heart to know and eyes to see nor ears to hear until this day. Observe therefore the words of this covenant and do them. The Psukim is saying that Moshe Rabbeinu his final discourse before his death, which he delivered to Claudius Hurl at the culmination of 40 years in the Midbar. After 40 years in the Midbar, Moshe tells Kal Yisrael that they had no heart to understand, no eyes to see, no ears to hear until this day. What, what is the meaning of the Pasuk? Rashi explains, No man can thoroughly understand the knowledge of his Rebbe nor the wisdom of his studies until 40 years have elapsed. Therefore Hashem would not be strict with them until this day, Ad Hayyim Hazer, but after 40 years had elapsed, He would now be strict with Kal Yisrael that they have to um, they have to learn that they have to understand better. I expect, Hashem is saying, I expect more from them than I did now. Until now, I did not expect that much from them. But now, I will. I expect more from them. Rashi is saying that that when Klai Yisrael, that when Moshe Rabbeinu told, told Klai Yisrael that the time had transpired, that they had no heart, eyes, or ears. He was, in essence, declaring that they were, like we say in Yiddish, Nish came mention, non-entities. Hashem could not be strict with Kal Yisrael, nor hold them fully responsible to observe the words of his Torah before, because 40 years had not as yet elapsed. But after, but now after 40 years had in fact elapsed, they would be fully capable of grasping the words of Hashem's Torah. Now they're ready. Hashem would therefore be more exact with them and would hold them fully responsible to observe and fulfill every, every word of the Torah. That means that for forty years they were not they were they were not ready yet. You need forty years to to learn from a Rebbe to really full understand fully understand the meaning of his wisdom. But now that forty years have elapsed, now you will be more responsible and Hashem is saying, I expect more from you. And the question is, who were these people who could not grasp Hashem's Torah during 40 years in the desert? Who were these people? They were the Duradea, the greatest and most spiritually elevated generation that had ever lived. 
They were a generation that was privileged to walk through Kriya Syamsuf. They were a generation that, that walking through Kriya Syamsuf, the simplest maidservant had visions of prophecy beyond that of the holy prophet Yechesko. These people, these great people, could not comprehend the Torah until 40 years after, after, after the Midbar. This was a generation where infants pointed towards heaven and declared, Ze keli v'yamveyu. Whatever that means, infants were able to point to Hashem, sort of. Zer keli v'yamveyu. The, this was a generation where each and every person was privileged to actually hear the words of HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself reverberate through the very fiber of their beings as Hashem began expanding the Aseris Hadibris at HaSinai. They all heard the first two commandments. And these people couldn't grasp, couldn't comprehend the Torah until 40 years had passed. How do we understand this? So how could he say, how could Moshe Rabbeinu call them Nishkan Menshin? Non-entities. Nish can mention, you have no heart, you have no eyes, you have no ears. How could, how could such a thing be? This was a generation where men, women, and children attained the highest spiritual levels of prophecy. Furthermore, who taught the Torah to this third day? It was none other than Moshe Rabbeinu himself, the greatest of all Rebbeim. It was he who was privileged to hear the Torah directly from Hashem himself, the very source of all wisdom and understanding. Moshe proceeded immediately to teach the Torah to the Der Der first hand. How then could the Der Der students par excellence, studying under the Rebbe par excellence, the greatest Rebbe of all time, how could they be incapable of grasping Hashem's Torah? That is the question. We glean from here, we see from here, the incredible depth and profundity of Hashem's Torah. Even the most exceptional students stud studying under the greatest Rebbe were incapable of comprehending the ultimate depth of the depth of the Rebbe's teachings. Only after they matured as a result of four decades, a veritable lifetime of spiritual growth in the Midbar, were they fully capable of grasping the Arabi's teachings of Hashem's Torah. How fortunate are we to have the opportunity to study Hashem's Torah? How blessed are we to be able to delve into its myriad intricacies, secrets, and beauties. How privileged are we to be able to immerse ourselves in its never-ending waters. 
There is no greater wisdom in the entire creation than the wisdom of Torah. How much, how much must we dedicate ourselves and exert our energies toward acquiring its knowledge? May we all be zeichet to immerse ourselves totally in the study of Hashem's Torah, Holy Torah, Amen v'Amen.